German Chancellor Angela Merkel heavily relies on the automotive industry in order to prop up the economy, but German carmakers have somewhat fallen behind in the creation of electric vehicles, with American firm Tesla stealing a march by setting up a showroom in Berlin. The Paris Agreement and other air quality regulations mean the EU's leadership must get serious about presenting a solution for a greener future, the European Commission is already leading a crackdown by referring the continent's biggest polluters, including Germany, to the European Court of Justice, where judges will decide whether to impose heavy daily fines if countries are not seen to be sticking to EU rules. Transport is seen as one area where carbon emissions are actually increasing while other sectors becoming greener. The Paris Agreement means emissions must be cut by 40% by 2030. If EU leaders are serious about hitting targets they will have to tackle the growing issue of transport. Electric cars could play a huge role in the decarbonization of the transport industry. According to figures, electric vehicles could reduce global oil consumption by 279,000 barrels a day. A full rollout of electric buses would equate for 233,000 of those barrels of oil. Brussels now has decisions to make which could have serious ramifications for Germany's automotive industry. The bloc is working on making sure the right legal framework, so far releasing a proposal on decarbonizing cars and vans and just last week a similar plan to combat heavy vehicles. Under the Commission's first light vehicles proposal, average emissions for new cars will have to fall 30% compared to 2021 levels of 95 grams of CO2 per kilometer. Incentives rather than targets will be offered to manufacturers to put more zero-emission vehicles on the roads. If electric cars are going to be the answer, the EU will have to address the global imbalance of supply. Global sales of electric vehicles topped 1 million units for the first time in history in 2017. However, China is largely responsible for the market's rapid expansion. With Europe and the United States falling behind, the EU is working hard to bridge the gap by ensuring there are sufficient charging points to make electric vehicles a viable prospect. Project's main headquarters of Brussels has seen the spread of charging stations, a signal of the bloc's intent, having only just overcome an emissions scandal, in which several of Germany's manufacturers rigged pollution tests to pass their vehicles off as green. Ms. Merkel's precious automotive sector once again faces the need for change but Ms. Merkel does not overlook the challenge ahead for her driving force behind her economy. In May, the Chancellor said she thought there was an opening for German carmakers to move into production for electric vehicle batteries. Despite the market being dominated by Asian tech giants LG Chem and Samsung, Ms. Merkel said, I'm detecting a certain rethink among carmakers. Ms. Merkel said she was in favor of doing more for Germany as a research location and boosting innovation there. She pointed to the government's intention to raise the proportion of research and development spending in Germany to 3.5% of economic output by 2025, adding that the automobile industry played an important role in that. But American firm Tesla is seemingly benefiting from the electric car boom on the continent, leaving German brands in its wake. Teslas are now seen on the country's high-speed autobahns among the, the larger, pricier vehicles from Audi, BMW, and Mercedes-Benz. The U.S. has no comprehensive plans to roll out a network fast charging points, so Tesla are likely to want to shift their focus to Europe.